Hey guys, we're the DNA interns at the DNA Discovery Center Pritzker Lab, and we are starting a vlog series about kind of what we do at the uh, field museum. You should watch our videos because you'll learn more about the DNA residency and the field museum as a whole. Every video will also feature clips outside of the lab, such as talk to scientists, behind the scenes tours, and our favorite exhibits. Check out the DNA Discovery Center's Facebook page to keep updated on our latest videos. Hi guys, my name is Jane Betcher and I'm a rising junior at Naperville North High School. This summer I had the opportunity to work at the Pritzker DNA Lab at the Field Museum. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and about why I love this internship. Because seriously guys, this is the best internship around. So the first thing you should know about me is that I love to learn. And I love science. I actually think my love of science came to me in the fourth grade. I had the best teacher ever, Mrs. Nolan, and uh, she took us on really cool field trips. Like we went stream monitoring and I got to look at mayflies, at crayfish, at the turbulence of the creek, and at pollution surrounding it just to see how it was affecting the ecosystem. And I thought it was so cool to see that what I'd been learning in the classroom about plants and about animals applied to real life. Another thing we did that year was dissect a squid. And we'd been looking at pictures and at uh, diagrams of the different parts of the squid, but it wasn't real to me until she put that squid right in front of me and I started to dissect it. And it must have been really weird because I, I just loved dissecting that squid. I loved looking at all the different parts and just seeing, so what does this do, what, do, what does this do? And um, what also made that experience a little bit cooler was after we were done dissecting it, we got to eat it as calamari. So the second thing you should know about me is that I love to read. I guess that usually goes hand in hand with loving learning. But my favorite book right now is The Rosie Project and it's actually really interesting because the main character is a geneticist and he uses the same equipment and same processes that we use at the Pritzker Lab. The third and final thing you should know about me is that I started a nonprofit free tutoring organization called The Mary Tutor. As I mentioned earlier, I love to learn, and the Mary Tutor is a way for me to spread that love of learning with others. So high school students like me volunteer as tutors and teach elementary and junior high school students in a variety of different subject areas and get them excited about it. Uh, and at the same time, we're allowing these high school volunteer tutors to develop valuable communication and leadership skills. Okay, so I think that's all I have about me, and now I'd like to tell you about the lab. My favorite part of the lab is definitely that it's such a collaborative and supportive environment. I mean, the moment you walk through those lab doors, all degrees are dropped. So I'm allowed to work alongside world-class scientists as an equal. And I think that's so important to have this environment because it makes everybody comfortable to share their ideas and I think that's where the best ideas happen. And I was also pleasantly surprised by the amount of women who work in the Pritzker lab. I have seen interns, scientists, curators, and I think that the Field Museum does such a nice job of bringing women into the field of science because there are not enough of us. Okay guys, so that's all I've got. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next week. Hi everyone, my name is Simone Walk and I'm one of this year's 2015 DNA residency interns at the Pritzker lab. I'm a rising junior at Walter Payton College Prep, and I want to tell you a bit about myself before I go into my experience at the lab so far. So I participate in Model UN at my school. I'm also on our arts and literary magazine and will be an editor next year. I play flute. I really enjoy reading. I also write in my free time, and I enjoy volunteering as well. For the past two years, I've volunteered at an organization called 826 Chicago, whose mission is to foster a love of reading and writing in young students and make sure that they're committed to academics on a really personal level. And so I've been on this organization's youth advisory board and have been tutoring kids there for about two years. So more about my experience at the Field Museum so far. It's been a really enjoyable time and much, much more rich than I expected. I applied to the program because I enjoy science and I was looking for a practical experience where I could really dig deep into research, 
not in an experimental setting where things were set up in a way so that an result, a result would be found, but in a setting where I could truly have a first-hand experience of what research and science is like in a semi-professional way. And so this internship really fit that criteria of having a practical experience, and that was why I applied. And so far, I've really enjoyed every aspect of this internship. One of the more surprising things I found was that we, as a part of the museum, have access to a lot of the behind-the-scenes tours and the ability to see collections the public doesn't have. So it's been interesting for me to take a bigger look and really delve into how this museum is run, um, what kind of samples they have that and objects that facilitate research in science and social science, and what goes into every exhibit here. So that's been a really interesting and unexpected part of the internship here. I've also enjoyed, of course, working in the lab. Um, our team is under Dylan Maddox, who's a researcher who studies birds, and we're looking at West Nile virus and the result of this virus in crows um, as an innate immune response. And so this is a topic that touches on evolutionary biology, um, and this is an interesting but kind of complex topic, so I really enjoyed working under Dylan because he's someone who really focuses on making sure that we understand the techniques that we're using, and not just the techniques, of course, but the concepts of these immune genes and what's actually going on here, whether or not this is happening. So I've especially enjoyed the research part of the program. Um, and in addition, it's partly because the lab at the Pritzker lab, it's amazing to work here. Everyone is very welcoming and open and people are kind of on an equalized level. We're all here together working on research. And I really enjoy being in a climate where other scientists are eager to share what they're, talk what they're researching on. And we're in this community together that it's so unusual for a high school student to be in. In all, this internship has been what I expected and beyond. I've enjoyed all the people that I've met, the lab work that we're doing, and getting a chance to look at the museum behind the scenes. And I hope that we can give you a snippet of the amazing DNA residency that's happening here at the Field Museum in the upcoming videos. Bye for now! Hello, my name is Sean Park and I'm going to be a junior at Matia Valley High School this fall. A little bit about myself, I'm just a guy with a lot of interests. So I participate in multiple extracurricular activities outside of school, including student government, in which I'm currently the junior representative for, um, speech team, because I love communicating and I love presenting to other people. I'm also a huge fan of music, because I myself am an oboist, and I love playing in both my school band, the Matia Valley Wind Ensemble, as well as the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestras. And in my opinion, it's super fun. But the main reason that I wanted to talk to you guys today was because of my passion for science. And that's what drove me to apply for the DNA residency program at the Field Museum, specifically the Pritzker Laboratory. And it's just been nothing short of amazing this summer so far. And it's so great working with these people. And um, there are three reasons to me why this program stands out. The first being that it's the Field Museum, and I don't think many high school students can say that I'm working in a world-class research institution like the Field Museum, and I'm doing real research with real scientists, producing real results. That's really important to me, and I think that's super cool. Um, the second reason, and in my opinion, the most important reason why this program is different from the others, is the people that you work with in this laboratory. And the other high school interns that I work with, Jane, Simone, Taylor, all of them are super awesome people, super wonderful. They're extremely smart. They know what they're doing. Um, and the scientists that work here, they're so cool because all of them are distinguished in their fields and they have multiple degrees, doctorates, they're essentially famous in the scientific world. And the cool thing about this lab is that even though these scientists have more education than us, they still treat us like equals in the laboratory. 
And I thought that was really cool because essentially when we walk through the door, all, all degrees are off. I mean, we are all equal in the laboratory. And that's really amazing towards the bonds that we built in the lab, the amount of camaraderie that we feel. And I think that's super amazing as we're working together in a tight-knit group. The third reason that I think this program was different from the others is because of the amount of respect and the amount of patience that they gave as they were um, teaching us how to do things. Because I myself jumped into the biology bandwagon a bit late because I thought that I didn't, I didn't know what I want to study, to be frankly honest. But freshman year, I really experienced biology to the fullest because it was in the middle of class and we were studying evolution, you know, genetics, all those sorts of things. But we started talking about Pokemon and evolution as it is now and trying to connect the two. And I'm a huge fan of Pokemon, so I thought that was really cool how they connected Pokemon to real-world evolution. But of course, I didn't have any lab experience, so when I came here, I was really scared, you know, like, oh no, they're going to make fun of me because I don't know how to do anything. But that's not the case at all. They were extremely understanding because everyone was in the same boat as me. They kind of, you know, were struggling with what to do in the beginning, but when we worked together as a group, we basically came together and we found out how to do everything and that was really rewarding as we continue to work on our project. So this program is amazing. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. Hi everyone, my name is Taylor Ensminger and I'm currently a rising senior at Barrington High School. I am one of this year's 2015 DNA residency interns at the Field Museum which in and of itself is just something that's completely amazing. I would love to share a little bit about myself to start this blog, ser this blog series off. So to begin with, I am one of the editors of my school's literary arts magazine called Nuance. I'm also involved in several clubs at my school, such as Code Red, which is a community outreach organization, and Latin Club, because I'm a huge Latin nerd. <laughs> I I'm also involved in a not-for-profit agency outside of school. I am a board member of Go Beyond Barrington, which is completely student-run. And I also play volleyball on the side. So that's just a little bit about me. I also love to joke around. I have a very sharp sense of humor. So hopefully you'll get to hear a little bit of that through this series too. I will be applying to college soon, and hopefully next year I will be starting in a bioinformatics degree program and eventually going on to get an advanced degree in either viral pathology or epidemiology, depending upon what I figure out I want to do. This experience at the field is just amazing. It's given me the opportunity to go through a lab setting that I might face later on in life or even in college doing research with a professor. So I couldn't be more thankful. The field has amazing collections that we have been able to see on behind the scenes tours and we're even working with some of them. We're working with crow samples that have been saved and are part of the collections. It's amazing that less than 1% of what the field has in its collections is on display and would never have known that before this internship, so I'm just in love with everything that I get to see. This internship has been completely amazing. I love everyone in this lab. They're all accepting and great people to work with. I don't feel looked down upon because I'm a high school student by anyone, especially since pretty much everyone in the lab has a advanced degree. Um, our policies kind of degrees fall when you enter the threshold and no one really cares how long you've been in the field or how advanced your degree is. You're all equals and that's something that really speaks to me, especially since about 50% of the people we have working in the Pritzker lab are women and I think that's truly amazing too. The field has an amazing women in science program and we, they really just want to get women involved in science and show that it doesn't need to 
it's not really a male dominated field anymore. It doesn't need to be male dominated. I would love to get more girls involved in science, especially since sometimes we are kind of pushed to the side. I've been in class situations working with male partners and them say, oh, just let me handle it. It's fine. You go sit over there. No, I don't want to. I want to be involved. So I'm completely loving that aspect of it. And I can't wait to encourage more people to really get into science. We are in such an amazing field, so I can't wait to see everything we have in store. I <laughs> love working with Dylan Maddox on his research, especially since we are doing gene mutation with a virus, and I can't wait to see if <laughs> there is actually mutation in the genes for a innate immune response, which is something I would love to study later on in life. So I'm really excited about this program and I hope you guys enjoy watching this series. Bye! Thank you for watching guys. Be sure to check in with the DNA Discovery Center's Facebook page for weekly updates of our videos.